still having a fabulous bone and frolics with cream. So we're on the iPad today. We've got good sound, let's have a look. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Yes, yeah, so let me know about the sound, guys. So I'm not quite sure how good the map, the uh, iPad is. Morning, Christina. Morning, Diane. Morning, Jim. I'm not sure how good the iPad is for picking up sound. I might not need that on anymore. Hi, Arlene. Yeah, it just gives a holler. The sound's rubbish. I'm going to go back to that because I have to stop that to see that. Good. Yay. Perfect. Yes, just give a, let me know about the sound, guys, if it's rubbish, good, down, up, indifferent. That'll be fabulous. So you're all going to need today is your mat, a chair, some water bottle weights. I need to move the clock because the angles are wrong. So in the shop. Perfect. Well, my little cheesy puffs. Sound is good. Lovely, thank you. Fab. That's good then. Right, so make sure you have some water for your hydration levels. Got different light and different space because on a different computer. Right, so do you have all your bits and bobs? <laughs> I don't even fit into the camera screen. I fit in back here. Honestly, technology. So yeah, make sure you've got space to work, drinking water, water weights, and a chair, a mat or a towel on the floor so when we actually go down to the ground. Good, good, good. Right then. So we're going to work. We have ten rounds, no, five rounds of ten exercises. So we'll get our warm-up done first and then crack on. Yeah? You can just about see feet. Sorry, it's really hard having a different size screen. Right, let's get marching on the spot. Get ourselves armed and ready. So quite nice in the third of marching. Stand nice and tall, think about engaging your core, so bum, pelvic floor, everything up and in. And get those arms moving. Perfect stuff. So keep the legs doing what they're doing, and let's start moving those arms. So five more going back. Four, three, two, one perfect change direction, slightly with the arms coming forward for eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely, it's changed little side, uh, side steps. So, nice big stride, bring your other leg in. Okay, we're just getting the heart rate up so far. Let's bring in bicep arms. So, again, think about having a nice, we're not just flinging our arms up, keep them nice and controlled. Let's give it ten more. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Back to marching on the spot. So, go, 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 go. Right, we're going to give a little hamstring curls next. So, a little step and curl the leg behind. Most important things to think about is your supporting knee that it's soft, so don't lock him out. Still keep your core engaged. So, ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Back to marching on the spot. So little knee lifts. So coming up, bring your knee up. Supporting knee must be soft. Think about your posture. Don't go too quick. Don't be falling, hurting your ankles. And lift your knee as far as is comfortable. Think about keeping your bum tight and your core tight. So six more. Six, five, four, three. One, back to marching on the spot. Lovely. Right, so remember the arm movements that we do during the exercises are marching arms, bicep curl arms. Again, think about having control. Squeeze your bicep when you straighten and straighten your arm out and work your triceps. We have our biceps. 
We have our chest press arms, which are arms out in front, drawing our elbows back. We have our pull down arms, or just sneaking shot, so having our hands up, putting them down, uh, like on the cable pull down machine in the gym. Good, good. We also have straight arm pull throughs. So he sits having to go on the technical side and it's driving him as potters as driving me. Should be so straightforward. So arms in front, nice and strong arms, pulling them back. That's our pull through arms, okay? You're nice and strong, so think about how your shoulders feel and your triceps are no weak arms going on. So I can see, can't really bring it. Right, fabulous. Sorry about the weather, we haven't managed to get out yet. Are we good? So, something's working today. Right, marching on the spot, we're going to do the side step, bring in our arms. Let's get our heart rates nice and up. Two side steps. So touch, get your legs going first, and then draw your arms in. So let's go bicep arms. Do -do -do -do. Think about a nice big stride, keep your core tight, think about your posture. So nice and dynamic. We'll bring our own rays of sunshine today. Five seconds. Perfect step. Marching on the spot. We're going to go for hamstring curls next. Five seconds. Just being ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, I'm quite registered in my passwords. I've had my passwords in the chairs. So, where? Facebook. Let's go chest press arms, arms out in front, and pull behind. Dee dee. Twelve seconds. So, core nice and tight, forward and pull back. Three, two, one. Back to marching on squats. In our rest period, we'll keep our legs moving. Knees next, with a hand touch, and move alternately. Five seconds. Let's get ready. Think about upright position, core tight, bum tight. Let's go, up and knee. You feel more comfortable with a slightly more open pelvis, it's also fine. Just think about supporting knee. Very important. The so nice little tap. Let's go chest press arms. Now, arm forward, pull back. If you feel want to keep with the bicep arms, that's fine. Three, two, one. March on the spot. Good, good, good. Right. Let's go for side steps. Put two of them there and over and tap. Step. Okay, two, one, let's go. Step, touch. Bicep arms. Super stuff. Pull through arms. So arms forward, nice and straight. So strong shoulders, strong back, strong arms. We've got five seconds. One, perfect, so stay on the side. What we're going to do is a little jump in here. If you wish, you don't have to put the jump in, you can just step. We're going to go over and bring on a hamstring curl and come back. So it's the inside leg, do the curls. Two, one, let's go. So up and over and curl. So legs first. You don't have to do the jump in the middle. Bicep arms. <laughs> I want to curl. Then helps my brain. <laughs> so whilst I'm curling my legs, curling my arms. Ten seconds. So don't forget the jump if you want to. Good stuff. Three seconds. Good, good, good. Knee lift. This time so up and over. Opposite hand to the knee. Against the centre knee that's doing all the work. Five seconds. Three, two. One, let's go, so up and over, in the knee. So he comes down and he's already starting the stride. You don't have to do the jump, don't forget. Optional. Take the impact out completely. You do keep your core nice and tight. Supporting knee soft. Da, da, da. Seven seconds. Three. 
touch my spot. Perfect. Standing forward, we're going to go off to the diagonal, a little touch. You need to go left, touch with your right, and come back. Right, touch with your left. Starting off to our left with our right legs. So right leg and touch, come back. So you have to sort of V-shape. Yeah, biceps. We're going to change the chest press arms halfway. So we're changing arms in five seconds. Three, two, one. This time, pull back, core tight, chest up nice and strong through your back and chest working. Seven seconds. Pretty good. Watching on the spot. Same again, changing our legs on the diagonal. Hamstrings. Okay. So we have to pull through arms. Three seconds. Off to our left. Let's go. So right leg curl with left. Get your legs going first. Then bring your arms in. Strong core, strong arms. So same again, going to our left, leading with our right leg, lifting our left leg back to centre. A couple more rounds and we get some water. We do get some if you need it any time. Let's go. So right knee, come back down, lead with your left, right knee up. Supporting knee soft. So if you want to increase your heart rate even further, pull down arms and more dynamic your arms. And the bigger the range of motion, the more cardiovascular work you have to do. You can drop them down at any time. Three, two, get one more in. One, good, good, march on the spot. Perfect. Right, so last time just going to side steps. We we'll change our arms every 10 seconds starting with biceps. So side steps first. Let's go, get your legs. Biceps for 10. Then we change the chest press arms in three, two, one. Chest press arms. Good, good. 10 seconds here. Then the pull down arms. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pull down arms. Again, you can change the arms to anyone you wish. Three, two, one. Good, good, good. Rest. Grab some water. Super, super. Very thirsty today. chairs and your water weights. I've got different shaped water weights to my drinking water. So don't get confused. Right, so we have squats and sort of body work. Uh, and then we go to the floor, the work weights back up again. So, second round of 10, it's more weight based. Uh, so we're still going to keep our, trying to keep our heart rates up using our booties. And our big muscle groups. Are you ready? Right, 10 seconds, grab your weights. We have shoulder press first. You don't need to have any water weights. You need a can of soup, small water bottle, or nothing at all. Shoulder press. So think about your back, your core is tight, you're sitting upright. You're not locking those arms up when you go up. Think about your shoulders and back doing the work. So go to temper that's good for you. Do think about your spine position, your nicely engaged cores. Perfect step. Three, two, one. Good job. A little bit more on the shoulders. So lean forward from your waist. Keep your back active. Your weights to the side, lifting up and lowering back down again. I'm ready. So nice deep breath in, forward from the hips. Let's go. So lift up under control 
and lower. So you're going to create that tension yourself as you're coming down, like you're squeezing some bellows or something. Squeeze. So nice and controlled. Good. Got Ten seconds. Great stuff. Pop one weight away. This triceps. So, support your hand on the chair. Knees are bent, core is tight, glutes are engaged. Have your arm up by your side and we're extending back. Are we ready? Let's go. So, nice straight arm. You want the full contraction of the tricep when the arms go back. Super stuff. We're halfway. A nice and controlled movement. We're going to keep that core lovely and tight. Don't rush the movement. Three, two, one. Perfect. Change sides. So your weight's on the outside, supporting hand on the chair. Core is tight, knees are soft. Squeeze your bum. So arms at by the side and we're extending straight out to work that tricep. Let's go. Good, good. So loving controlled movement, keep that core tight, bum tight, knees are soft. Ten seconds. One, super. Wait away. Back to your chair for your squats. You don't have to have the chair for your squats. So we have our feet. If we go using your chair, chair leg distance apart. So core living tight, sitting upright, and standing up. So make sure you push the floor away and we don't lean forward. So coming straight up, core nice and tight, squeeze your bum, really kiss down that chair and back up. There's loving control movement, really focus on not leaning forward. Core's tight, bum tight, chest up. 10 seconds. Good, good. Three, two, one. Perfect. Sumo's next, so have a wider foot stance. Lots of 90 degree angles going on. Again, staying lovely and tall, so pelvic floor, core, everything up, push the ground away. Keep that bum engaged, okay? So push the ground away, come up, keep the glutes engaged, come down under control, little kiss on the chair, and come back up. Little kiss, come back. Go for a little bit. Little kiss, back up. So core nice and tight, chest up, controlling the movement up and down, keeping the tension in my quads and booty. It's got seven seconds. Three. One, great, so to the side of your chair. So stand at the back chair leg, lovely and tall, supporting knee bent. We're gonna lift our leg out to the side. See how my upper body's staying where it is? I'm literally moving my leg in my hip socket using the bum and thighs. So core tight, supporting knee soft, control the raise, the raise of that side leg. So having the foot flexed, leading with the heel, but don't kick out with the heel. It's all in the bum. Halfway. Three seconds, we change sides. Two, one. Good job, by the way. I think we won't kick the uh, a little bit further forward. So supporting knee soft, lifting up and out to the side, keeping the upper body still and static. Are we good? Two, one. So take them up. Again, focus on not moving your upper body, controlling the raise and the lower. I've come a bit further forward so I don't clock the timer. Over halfway. Super stuff. Three seconds, core still nice and tight. Good job, grab your weights, stay standing. 
We're going to have side penguins and biceps. So side penguins, the core nice and tight, stand upright, slide to the side, feel the scrunch, but don't rush the movement. Feel your obliques doing the work. So core's engaged to the side. Really feel those obliques working. Try and get those ribs tucked into your hips. Halfway. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Biceps. And keep our wrists upright if you have any pain in your elbow. Uh, just so down to straight up to here. If your wrist is okay and elbows now, you can do a rotation up and twist. Yeah, if you have any pain in your elbows, stick with your wrists being vertical. So your options are going straight up the middle. If you have no issues, or any pain in your wrist or elbows, you can do the rotation. Think about squeezing those biceps when you bring your arms up. Just squeeze the muscle and dig those triceps in. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Weights away. Just going to pause the clock. Grab some more water. Seven out of ten is done. Let's go to the floor. So keep your weights uh, relatively close. Chair away. Bring your mat out. Grab some more water. Make sure I'm drinking my drinking water, not my weights. So we're going to be doing uh, core and bottom, uh, one round of uh, the chest exercises with some triceps. Superb, so normal crunch position first of all, starting in 10 seconds. Right, lay down. So onto your mats, core nice and tight. Can you see me? Because I can't see the screen. So normal crunch, keeping that chin sort of tucked in, peeling those shoulder blades up. Think about what's going on in your core, looking down at your navel, making sure it's all drawn in. Feel those muscles contracting, hold until you can feel them. Just making sure the time was going. Good job. Penguins next. So we're reaching around, getting our ankles. I need a little thing on my wrist today. So reaching round to our ankles, core's nice and tight. Feel the little scrunch in your obliques before you come back out of the exercise. Don't rush. I can see blue sky. So, core's level and tight, pull yourself um, up to a seated position and curl that down bone by bone. If you can't do a full crunch, absolutely no problem, just get your foot up as you can and lower yourself back down. So either way, we're working our abdominals. So coming all the way up if you can, so you're nice and tall and scrunch those abs back down again. And roll bone by bone down your spine so we're not thudding down. If you need to have your hands on the side of your thighs to help control that descent, Whilst your core and muscles are engaged, absolutely perfect. Super, super, super. Lovely. Right, Russian twists. So if you're sitting up, keep your core nice and engaged, and look at round in your C spine. Have your heels down if you feel too much pain in your uh, uh, strain in your hip flexors. Have your feet up. Doing out twist. Back to centre, twist, back to centre. So you have your feet off the ground, keep your knees together, have them under control so they're not, they're not sort of splaying around whilst you're doing the exercise. Have a nice, good control. 
squeezing them together. So either have your feet off the ground, or your heels on the ground, or do penguins. So feel that rotation. Perfect, perfect, brilliant and perfect. To the ground, grab your water weights. Um, if you can do press-ups, do normal press-ups. Grab your water weights and your back nice and pinned on with your arms up. Lowering our elbows and pushing our arms up. So feel that squeeze in the chest, create the tension yourself. So if you can do full press-ups or inclined press-ups, you can do them here. But squeezing that chest together, working those chest muscles. Tricep exercise of the body staying the same. Rotate your water weights if you have them, so they are facing forward. You're going to flex the elbow, bring up our weights to the side of our head, and back up. And when we're here, make sure we have lovely straight arms so we can work those triceps. So nice and controlled, lower the weights either side of your head. and tight, think about your triceps. Then we're going back to our core exercises next. Beautiful stuff. Let go of one more to weight. You don't need to have a weight for this exercise. So we're going back to our full crunch with our weight, uh, coming up with a little overhead press. If you don't need to have a weight. If you can't do a full crunch, come as far as you can. Do a little forward crunch and back down. Our pace will come all the way up, full press, curl down, and start again. So all the way up, nice and controlled, overhead press. Don't rush any of the elements. So think about each of the bone in your back. Control the movement, no momentum. Good stuff. Russian twists next. If you find those uncomfortable, please do pain legs. So your core's nice and tight. Think about the uh, pelvic floor, sucking all up into our uh, diaphragm. I forgot what's called then. And we're going to twist into the side. Don't push the movement. Feel the contraction. You're trying to get those ribs tucked into your hips. Keep drawing the core in. We don't want to distend it out. in the middle. Three, two, let's go. A little crunch. So you can think about the gap between your sternum and pubis, you're squashing that gap, contracting those muscles. and your lower back is imprinted, reaching around through your heels. And don't push the movement. Let's go. So working the waves back up. And 
to grab some batter. Perfect, so it's chair workout, so working off booties and a little bit of our upper body. And we're back to our aerobic bit at the beginning. So we're feeling super. Grab your weights, grab your chair. Shoulder press first of all. So core's nice and tight. Hands to the side. And up. And we're ready. So nice and vertical. Push up to the ceiling and back down to your ears. Please think about your shoulder blades. How they are sitting on your back. They are supporting the arm movement. Make everything feel a lot more solid. Ten seconds. So mixing up the order. So keep your legs at chair distance apart. Keep holding your weights if you want to, not mandatory. And we're doing our squats. We're going to sit nice and upright, core nice and tight, and push the ground away. So stay vertical. Think about where the chair is. <laughs> it is there because I just left it there a second ago. Why am I worrying about it? Ten seconds have gone. Mm. That was the chair speaking, not me. We're halfway, so controlling the up and down, keeping that chest up and the core engaged. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect step. Staying seated, leading forward now from our hips, lifting our arms up and out to the side. Got ten seconds. Five to go. So nice deep breath in, set your back and core, lean forward from your hips and lift. So control the rays and squeeze down like their bellows. So again, you're creating that tension. 10 seconds gone. Ten to go. Three seconds. Two. One, perfect. So you're going to keep holding your weights. If you're more comfortable doing a neutral squat, stay neutral. If you're happy with the sumos, perfect. So keep your weights together and in front. Keeping your chest up. You can have a little kiss on that chair. So push the ground away. Everything tight, push the ground away. Keep your bum tight, core tight. Little kiss and come back up. So try not to rest on the chair, but if you need to, please do. Ten seconds gone. Halfway. Beautiful stuff. Tricep extensions. Uh, weights up, we're going to be bending our elbows behind our head and straight up. So again, sitting on the edge of your chair, core tight, sit nice and tall. You can drop your pelvis off the tips, if that makes sense. So, elbows behind, fully straightened. So it's the extension of the arm, working those triceps, in the full stretch and then the full contraction. 10 seconds gone. Beautiful stuff. Right, leave your weights, go to the side of your chair, standing by the back leg. Then for our side leg lifts, and supporting knee is soft, stand vertical and lift our leg out to the side. So every body doesn't move, it's just the legs, the muscles in the legs and hips doing the work for us. Supporting knee soft, foot flexed on the extending leg. Is that core engaged? Halfway. Forget the core, easy to let it drop. Three seconds, two, one. Change them over. <laughs> Delusions of my long legs, eh? So core nice and tight, supporting knee soft, 
standing tall. Are we ready? Let's go. So lifting out, foot is flexed, upper body is not moving. Think about all the work that's going on in your bum and hips. Nice and controlled. 10 seconds gone. Time to go. So keep thinking about the, uh, supporting knee being soft. Core's engaged, standing tall, upper body's not moving. Three, two, one. Perfect. Back to your chair. We're doing our leg lifts. So lifting one leg out in front. So he's uh, quite extended. So flex very gently, knee, not a lot tightly. So core tight. All on uh, the right hand side or the left, all on the same side. So core nice and tight. Think about using the front of your thigh to lift. I don't mind how much of a bend you have in your leg. So the straighter it is and the more activated it is, like your Pilates legs, the less fun it is. <laughs> 10 seconds. So no yanking movements, controlling the raise, thinking about the quads. Ow. <laughs> Changing over, left leg, that's if you just on your right of course. So sitting up lovely and tall, have a gentle flex on that leg, if you find it more comfortable, or we'll activate him like a Pilates leg. And think about lifting with the front of the thigh. So yeah, my left is a lot stronger than my right. Everyone has uh, asymmetry, no one's perfectly balanced. Halfway. Lovely stuff. Good, good. Last one of our standing penguins and the weights are going away. We're back to our cardio element at the beginning, or aerobic element really. So standing lovely and tall, core engaged, we're going to be doing our standing penguins. Five seconds. Three, two, one. So core nice and tight, feel the scrunch in the waist. Don't rush out of the movement. and try and take your ribs tucked inside your hip bones. Halfway. All good, five seconds. Perfect, right, weights raise and chair away. Pause him on 10. Good stuff. Nice work in the area doing our cardio bit again. Last ten intervals. Good, go, good. Right, so close at the ready. Time at the ready. Focus at the ready. Right, ten seconds, just marching on the spot first of all. We're going for our side steps. So side steps in three, two, Let's go side step, step and touch. Nice and dynamic, bring me my bicep arms please. When we get halfway through, we'll change to chest press arms. So core tight, standing tall, nice big stride. Chest press arms in three, two, one. Chest press arms now, pull them back. So feel the push forward of the chest and the back activating as we're drawing our elbows back. Five seconds. Three, two, one, perfect, march on the spot in the resting periods, hamstrings next, so step, we're going to curl behind, we're going to have pull through arms, so keep marching on the spot, five seconds, hamstring curls, three, two, let's go, hamstrings, step and curl, pull through arms, so core tight, stand tall, really strong arms, think about your shoulders and triceps working in this, so when you're curling back, keep your glutes engaged too, and that's supporting the knee soft. Nice strong arms. We go to pace that's good for you. 10 seconds. Good, good, good. Time to go. Three, two, one. Beautiful stuff. Knees next. We're going to bring in our dynamic pull down arms. Don't get them in quite early on to so have a good 30 seconds. Keep those heart rates nice and high. 
there's going to be knees. We pull down arms. Okay, so knees, happy with the knees. Get your arms up ready. Let's go. Pull down, same time. Good. So core's nice and tight, supporting knees soft. Be mindful about how you're landing your toe. Halfway ready. 10 seconds. Ta -da. Three, two, one. Perfect stuff, right. So to the side of your imaginary step, we're going to be coming over three hamstring curls. Sue, so leg is going to take us back. So march to the side, going in three hamstrings only. Let's go. Up and over, three hamstrings. Cause time. You can put your jump in the middle if you wish. Not mandatory if you're taking the impact out. Biceps. Perfect. So halfway. The nice controlled arms. Keep them tight. Three. One, super. Three knees this time, so up and over, knees. Okay, I'm going to bring in our pull down arms. Okay, three seconds. So three knee lifts, two, one. Let's go over, knee, knee, knee takes it back. Arms up, so lots of arms. You don't have to jump in the middle. Perfect. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Super, 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 super. Okay. Delightful grapevine. Forward and touch, okay? All of it. Three. Two, let's go. So facing forward from stride and touch. Give me biceps. We have to pull through your arms in five seconds. Arms in front, pull them through. Core tight, strong arms. It's like you're grabbing something, putting them next to you. Ten seconds. Five to go. Three, two. One, beautiful. Three knee lifts on our horseshoe. So going around, horse, horse, <laughs> curl. <laughs> I've been doing so well today. So three hamstring curls on the horseshoe. <laughs> Let's go. So horseshoe curls. One, two, three. Or the top leg that starts the movement. Yeah, bicep curls. Super, super. So you can bring a bit more of a jump. If you want to do it on your hamstrings, not mandatory. You don't need the impact. Seven seconds. Good, good, good. Knees next. Three knee lifts. So the horseshoe's driving your potty, just go from side to side steps. Three knee lifts. Three, two, one. Let's go. Horseshoe, three knees, inner leg first. Arms up. Again, put your jump in. If you want to on your knees. My squeakiest of shoes. <laughs> Great stuff. Five seconds. One, beautiful. March them out. Side steps next, please. We're going to start with pull down arms, then chest press. Side steps. Three, two, one. Side steps. Pull down arms. Halfway, we'll change to chest press. Hope your arms are feeling heavy. Got five seconds. Change to chest press. Three, two, one. One, chest press. Nice high elbows.
Good, good, good. Three, two, one. March one spot. Little hamstrings to finish. Biceps and marching arms. We'll take the hamstrings out. I'll let you know when. Hamstrings with bicep arms. In. Three, two, one. Hamstrings, bicep arms. 15 seconds. Right, five seconds, we change to side steps. Three, two, one, side steps. Keep the arms in. Pull through arms. Three seconds. Two, one, march one spot. The last 15 seconds, nice dynamic arms. Good, good, good. Start rolling your shoulders. Keep the legs moving. Ignore that beat. Three, two, one. Change to the arms forward. Slightly bigger movement with the arms. Got five of these. Three, four, five. Perfect. Right, to grab a quick bit of water, we've got our core down. Right, so one nice wide stance. We'll do a little uh, inner thigh stretch and side lunge. So core nice and tight, keep your body facing forward. Bend your right knee, keep your left leg straight. We've got blue skies. Doesn't help with our morning time slots though, does it? No. Core's nice and tight, it's only for those that are going out after 12. Perfect, two more times, so core nice and tight, bend your right knee, hands on your bent leg, left leg is straight, feeling the stretch coming up on your inner thigh. Last time up and change, bend your left, keep your right leg nice and straight. Perfect, right, little uh, Russian dolls, so just swing your arms, let there be momentum, and the centrifugal force, possibly, take your hand. Just relax the arms out. Actually, quite nice. Good, good, good. Right, time for shoulders. Right arm out in front. Take him across. Wiggling my legs. Change them over. Left arm out. Take him across. Perfect, release, left arm up, this is my right, <laughs> bend in behind, <laughs> and assist the stretch. Change them over, so you don't lean on your head, let me straight on your neck. Good job, right, roll your shoulders back, hands behind, squeeze your elbows together, try and get your shoulder blades together. Good job. Hands in front again. Grab your wrists. We're going to try and pull our arms apart and push them forward. So grab wrists, pull them apart, push them forward. You'll feel the stretch all around the front and across the top of your back. Good, good. Hamstring stretch. So walking stride distance. Core's nice and tight, hips facing forward. Bend your back knee, hands on your bent leg. And feel the stretch on the back of your extended leg. One. Change them over. Again, so just walking stride apart, core nice and tight, bend your back knee, hands on the bent knee, core tight, back active. Perfect. Up and out. Little hamstring, uh, quad stretch. So hold onto a wall, the chair, something stable. Draw your leg behind. So have your thighs level for me. To increase the stretch, you can push your hips further forward, but try and keep your thighs level. Keep your supporting knee soft, core tight. Five seconds. Good job, change my head. Again, 
and thighs are level, standing tall, core tightly soft, ra ra ra. <laughs> Good job, release your leg. Right, bring your breath in, up to the ceiling, push away the really open your rib cage. Breathe out, arms down, the range closing, shake out your arms, give yourself a wriggle and a round of applause. Beautifully done, yay! So sorry again guys, that time to use the iPad, which is rather scary. Um, we'll keep trying to sort out Chrome so you get a bit of video and better quality. So take care, gorgeous ones. Uh, no idea what the day is. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Where's me buttons? There it is. <laughs>